What is up, Madden NFL 25 gamers? In today's episode of Top 5 Tips, we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 run defenses in Madden NFL 25, and I want you guys to take some notes on the adjustments. I'm going to let you guys know how to use these run defenses uh, for your, to your best advantage. These are going to be based off of coverage and absolute dominance and stopping the run in Madden NFL 25 based off read option and all the stuff that I've compiled uh, in my, in my uh, notes and stuff like that. So, um, the first run defense that I think that we need to focus on. This is number five. Uh, the 4-6 normal cover three, and basically this goes back to Madden 20, uh, Madden 12 days. We inverted cover two. What we like to do is we like to put that uh, free safety at the top of the screen there in a quarterback spy. We like to shade coverage down, and we like to use her that safety and basically just shoot the gaps and loop them with him, trying to cause the run uh, trouble, and remember to set the edge when using this play. The number four um, run defense, in my opinion, in Madden NFL 25 is the 52 defense, the fire zone 2, guys. Just call this play. That's all you got to do. And this play is just very effective. Shoots gaps very well. I like to use her one of the safeties in the deep blue zone, put them in the middle of the field, uh, and then if they pass it, I'll just click off of him and maybe use her a defensive lineman or something. But this play is very effective for stopping the run. The one problem with this play is it is a cover two blitz, cover two style play. It doesn't provide great coverage, and it's five down linemen set with not very much speed for spread sets and things of that nature. So it's great run defense, but it's not the best uh, in terms of pressure, um, in terms of coverage, in terms of whatever you want to do with it. Uh, it's not flexible enough, in my opinion, and that's why it comes in at number four. The number three run defense in Madden NFL 25 comes to us from the 44 uh, defensive formation. And the play that we like to use is the two deep. 4-4 um, defense is going to be great against the run because you have four linemen and four uh, backers. The adjustments we like to make on this is we just like to spread the defensive uh, linebackers out a little bit to get them wider. And then we like to use it that safety at the top of the screen in the little underneath hook zone. And we're just going to try to, again, set the edge and focus on blowing up that fullback. Uh, with this run defense. The number two run defense in men in NFL 25 uh, is coming from my favorite for my favorite run defense personally uh, is the 4-3 over CB dog zone. This run this just it shuts down everything guys. I don't know why it does. It just does. The cornerback blitzes um, that's it's just so effective for stopping the run in this game. But the one problem is it is a cornerback blitz and if they're on their toes and they realize you're sending pre uh, heavy pressure with your corners they can, they can easily dot you over the top if they have the right personnel and the right read and all of that has to combine. What I like to do in this defense is I like to use that middle linebacker in that hook zone. I like to let everybody else do their thing. You know, my main responsibility is to cover the middle of the field. If they pass, you you can you have some vulnerability to the immediate streak because of no press alignment. A lot of people won't throw that, which they're going to probably come into trouble facing with this is them attacking the middle of the field, overloading it, because you're only one player. But that's your user player. So this isn't that bad of a pass defense, even though it seems like with the cornerback zone. So what I like to do is I like to take the corner that's on the strong side, or excuse me, the weak side, I like to put him in any zone I want. So basically, sometimes I can make a cover three out of this, or I could man him up. I can make different adjustments based off what my opponent's doing. But the key is you want to have the strong side. So, for example, if they're strong right, then I'm going to zone up that left side corner that's blitzing. If they're strong left, I'm going to zone up the right side corner that's blitzing. And, by, you know, and, and that's how I'm going to run the CB dog zone. I really like this run defense. I think it's a very underrated, underrated one. And I think a lot of people give me flack for it, but it works, guys. Um, and that's just the way it is. And then the number one run defense I found in Madden NFL 25 uh, comes from the nickel strong formation. And the play is the sugar blitz. What I like to do with this play um, is I like to shift my linebackers to the right. And I like to man a line. And this just it causes a lot of problems for uh, defenses. And then, of course, guys, against heavy trip sets or stuff like that, then you could always um, base a line after you man a line. But what I really like about this defense is that middle linebacker is going to take the A-gap. The formation aligns itself so well, you're going to use that safety on the right side of the screen. And you're basically just going to shoot the gaps. You're not horrible in coverage because it is a man look. The blitz angle from the right right of screen outside linebacker, when you shift him to the right, he'll be on the edge. It's so, uh, it's so exotic that it's going to blow up the inside run, which I really like about this run defense, guys. Uh, in my opinion, it's one of the best run defenses. I think it's the best run defense in the game. Uh, at least it's the most dominant for me. And it's very decent against the pass. Obviously, guys, in this game, you're not going to have a play that's bulletproof against the run and the pass. 
but it is very effective. The Sugar Blitz, guys, it's a man coverage. You're going to get right edge pressure out of it when you send it like this. I think it's one of the most underrated run defenses in the game, and I think you guys can use it uh, to better your game in Madden NFL 25. So these are my top run defenses, guys. Uh, what are your top five run defenses? What do you guys like to do use to stop the run, and what are your adjustments? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, real quick, uh, a run defense that was uh, slept on. I didn't talk about it a lot. 3-4 over corner dog one. Let me actually show you the plays. I'm in the custom playbook option here. Um, with the 3-4, um, the 3-4 over, if you guys have a 3-4 playbook, I didn't show you anything out of that. Um, if I was using a 3-4, I would use this play as my run defense. It's very similar. It's actually called a cat, block, cat blitz. I apologize. But it, it's the same kind of concept. You're just going to flip the play to which side they're strong. So if they're strong right, you're going to leave it stock. If they're strong left, you're going to flip the play. And it's all set up. Everybody's going to be manned up. You're going to be decent coverage. And you're still going to get some – you actually get pretty good pressure with the cornerback blitzes. Um, so, guys, I enjoy all of these run defenses. I think they're my best for what I use them for. And uh, I always have the most success with these. So let me know your guys' running fences, and let me know what you think of mine. Thanks for watching this week, and I hope you guys stay tuned for another Top 5 Breakdown coming next week. Be sure to subscribe if you want more free content like how to blitz in this game, uh, how to, you know, some money money schemes and, and different, different plays that are really effective against man and zone and offense in general, and we have advanced tips and beginner tips and Madden Ultimate Team and you name it we got it guys be sure to subscribe if you not, if you want to have free Madden 25 content for the rest of this season and many more seasons to come thanks for watching this week guys I enjoyed uh, breaking these down for you and let me know what your top 5 run defenses are in Madden NFL 25 thanks for watching we'll see you next week